sellers are still in shock that they can't get the prices that Redfin and Zillow were telling them that their house was worth just a few months ago. It's no secret the housing market has changed within the last five years alone, and boy, will it cost you a pretty penny for a new home. Oh, God. Yep, that's about right. The Portland Business Journal took home values from Zillow and came up with the minimal annual income needed to buy a house within the Portland metro area. And you basically need a six-figure salary. It takes $135,000 to get into a Beaverton home, $212,000 for Northwest Portland, $107,000 for Southeast, $167,000 for Southwest, and the spendy part of the metro is still Lake Oswego, where the median income level is $237,000. That's, that's shocking. And that got the attention of thousands on Facebook. Jennifer saying, I'm a teacher and I have to face the reality that I will likely never be able to own my own home with my income. Janet said, houses on my street are selling for nine times what I paid for my house back in the late 80s. I could never afford to buy a house now. And I showed that map to a handful of people and they all had the same reaction. It's, it's sticker shock. You know, I, I, it, it's hard to imagine if I were in my youth yes. being able to afford something like this. So. Spurlock says buyers are in shock. They're sitting on the sidelines now until mortgage rates that are now at 7% for a 30-year fixed settle down. She's seeing sales fall through more and more, but buyers from out of the state are still moving here, but are taking their time with decisions. So certainly we have more inventory on the market and less demand for that inventory. There are just fewer buyers that are willing to, to move forward with all this uncertainty or that can afford to move forward with this uncertainty. She anticipates housing prices to continue to go down or pause during the holidays. Things should start to pick right back up by the end of the year and for sure by 2024.